Hey yo, what's up, it's Gira, and welcome back to another Don't Hold Spills video. So for today, I'll be showing you this new Terra Sword build, and this time for this build, for this video, I'm going to be using the Fenrir Bond for this build. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you two builds. One of them is going to use Catalyst, and the other one is not going to be using any Catalyst or Tonics for this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the build. First, I'm going to show you the Catalyst one, which is the more of a like high tier build. For the Omsal, I went with the Revenant Omsal. The weapon is going to be the Poison Stone, which has plus repair and plus repair six cells on it. Special is going to be the Avenger Road Drive, mode is going to be the Recursive Field. And for the Bond, as I said, we are using the Fenrir's Blade, which has plus repair six cells on it. And it has a very cool and unique ability, which I'm going to show you in the testing. So yeah, next up for Lantern, I went with the Scarns Defiance with plus two Catalyst. For the Hamlet, I went with the Dark Watch with plus three Overpower. Torso is going to be the Shadow is plus repetitor. Gauntlets are the Tolder's Brown with plus three Berserker. And last but not least, legs are gonna be the Time Leggings with plus three Berserker. At the end, because we are us using the Catalyst Cell in this, in this build, we are also gonna be using the Tonics, uh, which are the Frenzy, Blist, and 8 Drive Tonics for this build. So yeah, that was the part of the build, and now for the special side of the build. For the weapon, I went with the Bound Fury. Next up, the Lantern is gonna be the Tal Molten Talisman. Helmet is gonna be the Shocking Gaze. For the Torso, I went with the Living Blade Carapace. Gauntlets are gonna be the Bioplasmic Cyber Sleeves, and last but not least, legs are gonna be the Master Slug Wraps. So that was the full build, and, and these are cells right here. But before we get right into cells and what these cells do, make sure to sub the channel and like the video, and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And also, as personal viewers, are not, are not subscribed to the channel, so if you, I do appreciate that you. So, now for ourselves, we got the Plus 6 Berserker, Plus 6 Catalyst, Plus 6 Kinnik, Plus 6 Solar Power, Plus 6 Better, and Plus 5 Parasitic. But if you have like the uh, Fenrose uh, Blade, uh, max out, you're gonna get plus 6 per city for this build. So yeah, that, that was the first build, which is more of a like high tier build. And now let's uh, see the second one, which is this blue version of the build, which uh, I'm gonna quickly go over, the, go, go over it. Uh, for the Omnicell, I, I again went with the Revenant Omnicell. Weapon is again the Poison Thorn, but this time it has plus 3 use and plus 3 per city cells. Special is again the Avenger Gold Drive, mode is the same, and the Bond is the same too. Next up for Lantern is the same as Cards Defines, but this with the plus 3 use. Helm is gonna be the Time Helm with plus 3 Predator. Torso is gonna be the Structure with plus 3 Pulse. Gauntlets are the Togdor's Brawn with plus 3 Overpower. And lastly, Leg is gonna be the Trux Guide with plus 3 Pulse. And we don't need to go into Tonics because we are not using the Catalyst Cell in this version. So yeah, and for the fashion side, I just changed the Sword, which is the Frost Warden Sword, and the Lantern, which is gonna be the Adversary's Glory. And these are cells right here. It has plus 6 cunning, plus 6 power power, plus 6 predator, plus 6 pulse, plus 6 reuse, and plus 5 parasitic. So yeah, these were the two builds. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to be using the uh, high tier one, which is the catalyst version. So let's quickly go into some counter hunt and test uh, this build out. For example, let's go to the... Let's go to the... Let's see. Do you want to go to the underworld to follow Cape Fury? Okay, let's go to, go to Cape Fury, which is level 15 hunt grounds and currently on level 9. Here we're going to encounter the uh, Stormclaw, Sabit, Shadow Touch, Goshai, Dread Force Warriors, the Force Crown, and the Tunnel of the Dresk. And as always, let's see how this build is going to perform. And here we are in the Cave Fury, and let's see what kind of song lineup is going to be. Is we going to have today? We got level 14 Stormclaw, level 16 Scarn, and level 17 Savit. Okay. Firstly, and as you can see right here from the start, you can see the unique ability of the Fenor, which is, is I mean, sometimes is fun to use, but I wouldn't say is. You would want to go for this uh, for the Fenor as your main weapon, but if you want to have some fun and you don't want to just do something, you can use Fenor. Which you can use it build. Okay, let's uh, let's do, 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 do. let's kill this Stormclaw really quickly. Maybe we can. Oh, wait, that, I didn't dodge that really. Okay, that was weird, I guess. And yeah, this build is very versatile because you also have a, you have a lot of damage and you also have like a bit tankiness. So you're not gonna die. You're not gonna die that easily. I mean, if you go in a thing against like a very high tier behemoth, so you gonna maybe sometimes get like three shot it or two shot it. I don't know. Okay, let's throw it back. Bro, how would I miss that? Come on, let's parry. Again, we missed the parry. Really? What? And yeah, I completely forgot to mention the Fenrir's ability uh, refreshes on the uh, Lantern tab, so be sure to use your Lanterns a lot if you are using the ability a lot. So yeah, that was the level 14 Stormclaw, which was a really easy fight in my opinion. And let's go and do the Savit next. next. Okay, and, and also the those, those platforms that spawn, uh, they also deal damage and you also gain into your behemoth with that, which is really cool too. And here we are with our boy Savit here. And let's not try to get hit by this guy a lot because this guy is really fast. Parry this. Nice. Nice. It's done. Beautifully done. Again, parry. Nice. There we go. 
And you also got Sagar, which is really nice to see. Okay, let's use Revenant here. Why not? Let's use Revenant here and use platforms. Okay, how do I get up? Bro, wait, what? Okay, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We can parry. Okay, we missed our parry. Damn, we missed our parry, really? Okay, whatever, because we, <laughs> we completely interrupted its rage form. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get our tonics back. Like so, nice. And let's do this dodge. How then? How then? I didn't dodge that. I don't know. I don't know what just happened there, but I guess. Okay. okay let's maybe. Bro, and as, as you can see, the platforms did some damage. There we go. Nice, nice. And let's quickly kill this guy, please, if you can. Come on. Okay, we just died. But good thing about this build is they also have the Agorotis special ability where you respawn, which is really nice. And there we go, another part break, another part break for us, really nice. Let's go, let's go, do something here, please, please. Did I just die already, man, come on! And there we go, finally, Le that was level 70, 17 Sabit. Which was okay test, I think. Okay, and next one, let's continue on to level 16 Skarn. And after that, we're gonna see what other behemoth spawn. If not any different behemoth spawn, we're gonna do the song for next, which is level 14. And yeah, we're gonna see what any other behemoth spawn. Okay, against Karn, I don't know how effective uh, this build will be because we are using sword right now. And these Karn have also armor. Which is not really easy to penetrate. Good. Uh, oh, and level 15 Koshai spawn. Guess where we're gonna go next? <laughs> Okay, pair with this. Nice. Ooh, we got an intro up there. Nice. Very nice. Okay, maybe we can stagger it here. Very cool. Do this. Use that. Do this. I don't know. Why not? Do some terror damage to this guy. Pair with that. Nicely done. Nicely done. Beautifully done, I would say. I would say. There we go. And the part break for us. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's not get thrown off the edge here because. Okay. Going to rage mode. Quickly and swiftly move over. Okay, it's doing this. You can drop this with this. This nice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Okay, we are out of our Toba tonics, and that's why we're really slow right now. But that's okay. That's really okay because we're gonna use Revenant here. Okay, didn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> it didn't do a lot of damage. Damn. And, the, and also, one cool thing about this build is get our health back a bit. Hey, I should have waited and sh I should have interrupted that, but I guess not. I guess not. Okay, maybe we can segregate here. Please, 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 come on. There we go, nice. While it's down, we'll use Revenant. Ooh, and level 16 Boreas spawn, nice. We're gonna do level 16 Boreas after this guy. Nice parry here, big damage going on here, big damage. Would you like to, would you like to see? Find the mine. Ooh, and didn't it? Couldn't dodge that. Okay, whatever. Let's use this. Oh, it didn't interrupt, really? Damn.
Maybe we can do this. Nice, that's about very cool interrupt there. Very nice. Very beautifully done. Let's use Revenant. Nice. Maybe we can sago it here. Please. Don't go on the ground. Okay. Whatever. Whatever is gonna spawn all the way over there. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna follow it. Of course. Whoo! That was nice stagger there. Nice. Nicely done. And there we go. That's the Koshai down. And again, we move on. We go to this car. Not scar. The Boris next. Okay, here we are with our boy Boris. Boy Boris. <laughs> Good. And yeah, let's see how we fare well against this guy. Pair with that. Wait, yeah. didn't I pair with that? What? How did it hit me? Okay, I don't know how I got hit right there, but we move on, I guess. Nice, nice! Big damage, big damage. I like it. Maybe we can use Revenant here or not. I guess let's do that. Oh wait, in 20 to the 8 dry mode. With the armor, damn. Maybe we can touch this. Nice. We almost got hit by the rage. Almost. Touch. Nice. Done. Touch again. Damn! I'm on I'm on wrong today. Touching everything. There we go, the armor is down. Okay, what must I can't see anything. I can't see. Okay, I can see now. There we go. Use Revenant here to do a build damage. A big damage. Nice. Done. And there we go. That's glorious. And uh, for last test, let's do, I guess, Stormclaw because we already did Koshai. I mean, we did Stormclaw too, but, you know, Stormclaw was like a bit early. <laughs> Okay, after the Stormclaw, maybe if any other PM spawn like Dress, I'm gonna do that, but if not, I'm gonna leave it. Ooh, and speak of the devil. I guess I'm gonna do the Dress first and then the Stormclaw. We do have any, any, any time left after this guy. Of course. Okay, this. Wait, I'm not hit the parry. And again, we got hit there. Okay, that was really bad for me. I was early, I guess. Parry this. Again, it didn't you parry. Okay, whatever, whatever. We move. We move. There we go. Big damage going on. Nice, nice. Let's play in the line here. Very cool. Okay, I don't have parry, but we can dodge. But I do have parry now, and I did it early again. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What's that? gonna do Ooh, I interrupted it while it was doing the charging it, was, it does like a charge attack and it comes somewhere teleports and it deals also damage if you can fight that okay I was talking a lot and I couldn't dodge okay get my thoughts on here get to its head I guess do some terror damage too there we go let's use Dragon and here and that's that was really easy bro that was really easy nice Okay, let's get our, our uh, orbs. <laughs> and let's continue on to the Stormclaw, which is gonna be our last behemoth. Our last test. And here we are, last test subject, which is gonna be a level 14 Stormclaw. Which we're gonna deal with pretty easily, I think. Let's go, let's deal with that, parry this. Okay, see, we didn't parry that. Okay. Of course, we still got our power break. Let's get our head. Pause. <laughs> Okay, dodge, not dodge, parry, nice. And I don't think I will lose my tonics here because I frankly I don't need them I think in this situation. There we go, let's do that, Revenant here, and that's it. Took like a 30 seconds or 40 seconds to do to this one, to this one, to heal this guy. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave this video here. That was the uh, Terra sword build with the Fenor bomb.